All right, so now for this step, I will show you how to prepare these centerpieces um, for the caps to be attached. So what you'll need to do is unscrew this bottom piece from the top, set the screw aside, and now this will split into two halves, the upper outer cap and this internal piece. Uh, I will wipe this lube off on this sheet of paper so it doesn't get off on my desk. Now, um, this top cap can be removed with a screwdriver and uh, it is optional you can remove these ball bearings. So I'll take this smaller screwdriver and let's see if I can pick this up. You'll see this little um, divot on the plastic. You can just stick the screwdriver head in and you can lift this cap off the bottom like so. Set that to the side. And now you have this bottom piece that has the ball bearings. It is optional if you want to remove them or not. In order to remove them, I would just push in this ball bearing. And then you can lift the spring up and take out the ball bearing if that's what you want to do. And if you change your mind, just reverse the process. Drop the ball bearing into its slot, put the spring, push it down, and there you go. But the reason you open this part up, whoops, is because we want to remove these large pins. Let me get a screwdriver. These four pins, one, two, three, and four, from this piece, and it's pretty easy. You can just take your finger and just bend the plastic over just like that. I know it's a little bit hard to see on camera because it's just dark plastic, but these rods you can just bend over with your finger like that. As you can see, it's bent over now. And you just bend it a couple times. Oh goodness, we got springs flying everywhere. As you can see, the piece um, fell out and we no longer have a post. We have like there is over here. So you will want to just twist out each of these pins. And once you break all four of those pins out of this bottom piece, um, you'll be good to go. And also if you get a pin knocked over inside the housing, like you can see here, it's pretty easy to get out. Just take a screwdriver and you can pretty easily just pop it out. Oh, one more. All right, so now we have these four plastic pegs removed. I removed the ball bearings from this piece as well. So now you can put this cap back on, attach this and screw it together for the time being. We will be replacing this cap later with the 3D printed parts, but for now, this will keep everything nice and together until you're ready. So here's the next step. 